Hello, Lions fans, and welcome to this week's edition of the Alumni Spotlight. Adam Williams here. Joining me once again, assistant men's basketball coach Alex Bagerstaff and uh, Marso women's basketball and women's lacrosse alumna Mariah Johnson. Mariah, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So it's good to see it. Uh, we were talking briefly before we came on. I think the last time we saw each other was, was early July, very brief in passing. Um, but let's talk about how you've been doing throughout all this since kind of the world kind of went crazy here in, in March. How have you been doing? How's, how's life post Mars Hill? Um, life past Mars Hill, post Mars Hill has been great. Um, I am currently a teacher at Third Creek Middle School here in State School. Um, it's my first year, so it's been, it's been a little difficult to try to teach PE without equipment because, of course, COVID-19. <laughs> um, but we're, we're making it, and, you know, we're, we're trying our best to make it a good environment and try to have a good time for the kids that um, the students that do come to school. So uh, it's, been, it's been going good. So, yeah, quite a first year to get them to teaching, right? Right. <laughs> right. So how many, how many like – um, days a week are the kids coming currently? So the kids come, um, kids A through M come Monday and Tuesday, um, and then kids N through Z come Thursday and Friday. Wednesday is a cleaning day, so the teachers are the only ones that come. It's all virtual day for students. Nice. So and you talk about kind of the adjustments that you have to make. What's been you know, because I'm assuming come March, you're figuring like, all right, well, we're going to start doing school this way. We're going to do this. And then all this stuff hits. Like, what were the biggest adjustments for you in just trying to prepare for this upcoming year? Um, the biggest adjustments were, one, um, we had to take the gym. So um, students will sit in the bleachers. We had to uh, make sure that the students are all six feet apart. Um, knowing PE, it's a little, it's a little challenging because um, they want to run. They want to tag each other. And they want to do like all sorts of things. And they can't do that now. Um, another one is they don't like to go outside and we go outside now because, um, if they have a certain length away from each other, they can take off their mask. So our class is the mask break, uh, class. And that's been the hardest for them. I think is knowing that they have to come to school, like prepared and dressed, um, for PE because, we're not, we're currently not using locker rooms and we're not using equipment. So that's been the hardest challenge for us as teachers and then as students as well. We talk about where you're at now, but let's go back a couple years as you began your collegiate career. Started out at Coker, transferred to Mars Hill. Kind of walk us through that decision, but then also, you know, that first year here at Mars Hill and kind of what, what was the biggest difference and, and what were some of the biggest uh, positives that you saw? Okay, so um, Coker, one of my biggest um, reasons that I decided to leave was um, they did have PE, but it would have took me an extra year to um, get my PE degree, but then they didn't have health. So in North Carolina, you're required PE and health. So I would have had to go back to get my health as well. Um, so I decided to make a change and I was looking at schools. Sorry, that's probably a student emailing me. It is. Um, but um, I decided that I wanted to make a change and I wasn't sure where, where I'd like to go. So I started looking at all sorts of um, D2 schools that I would maybe like to go to. Um, and then I found Mars Hill. And I'd heard of Mars Hill before and I went to camp in the summer, um, but I never actually went. And I got on campus. Um, I think, did I do a workout? I think I did a workout. Um, I really like the campus. Um, it was a different, it was definitely a different um, environment. I was coming like close to Myrtle Beach. I needed some different scenery. I needed to be back in North Carolina. That was my biggest thing. I wanted to be back and I wanted to be closer home. Um, it was a straight shot from my house. Um, and I just decided that Mars Hill was the best fit for me because um, there were some great people coming in. Some people that I still have contact with, like Sydney Comer and um, Paige Chavis. I talk to all of them still. So uh, I just thought it was a great fit for me. So I decided Marcel was, was the school. On top of that, Mariah, like as a coach, um, so I'm going to ask you like some questions on the coaching side, but like as a prospective student athlete in high school, 
how important is it for young kids to choose the right school based on fit? Um, it is definitely important to choose the right school. Um, I transferred twice, so um, it's definitely important to ask those questions um, to coaches, um, to players, whoever is closest um, to you that you feel like you're comfortable asking those questions. Um, I would definitely support asking about preseason. I would ask about um, what a day is of student athlete because every coach has a different has a different perspective and has a different routine than each other. So nothing's the same. So it definitely is important for you to ask the right questions uh, in my personal opinion, because you're going to spend the next four years there. So you're going to need to know the ins and outs of the program. So ask those questions. You join the, the basketball program, certainly kind of a main role for you kind of jumping in. Um, I'm looking at some stats here, career stats. I think the one that jumps out to me the most is your senior year averaging 36 minutes a game. Talk about your conditioning, because there's no way I'm running that hard that fast. Uh, and that's um, as often. I'd have to say that I was in the best shape of my life, besides my freshman year when I ran cross country. That was probably the best shape. But uh, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I did struggle sometimes uh, breathing. Uh, there was, there were some times where I had, I'd be like, coach, I need to time out because I need to go sit down. 36 minutes was definitely a lot. Um, most of the time I'd play 40 minutes unless I fouled out or just couldn't go anymore. <laughs> um, but I was definitely in some good shape. Uh, practice got me in pretty good shape and then playing games twice a week, three times a week sometimes, uh, definitely put me in pretty good shape. Could I do that now? Probably not, <laughs> but I still, you know, race my kids. They, they, they think they can beat me. And I'm like, I play college basketball. Okay. I ran every day. You ain't going to beat me. So, hey, you, you proved yourself. It's up to them to prove themselves now. Right. That's right. <laughs> let's talk about some of those standout moments though on the court. You know, well, let's talk about the, uh, the, uh, the endurance, We'll take that out for now, but let's talk about some of those moments, some of those teammates that you had and, and some of your fond memories just being a part of the women's basketball program. Um, fond memories. There's a lot of them. Um, I think one of my favorite moments that I had was my senior year when I was playing with Tatum Boggs and Alexis Purdue. Um, we just enjoyed ourselves. We had a great time. We practiced hard. We played hard when we went out there. Um, I remember one time, I don't remember what happened, but Tatum was on fire one game. And I was like, well, I'm just going to drive and I'm just going to kick it to her. I said, Tatum, I need you to go for 30 tonight. <laughs> so I'm a little tired. So I'm going to need you to uh, spot up and shoot. She was like, I could do that. And I just kept giving her the ball and she kept scoring I was like I'm not even mad you just keep doing you girl <laughs> well I'm kind of glad you mentioned Tatum both Statesville native she's also going to be uh, part of the athletic department this year as a my graduate assistant she's also going to be a volunteer for the women's basketball program uh, and from what I understand for her you were kind of a big factor in her coming to Mars Hill herself so let's yeah, talk so about that, that I actually I actually uh wanted her to come. Uh, we played AU together for a couple years. And of course we played Converse, um, literally hated her. I'm like, <laughs> she, I think she scored like six threes against us when we played them. And uh, she was looking for a new home. And I was like, come play with me. I want to play with you. So I contacted coach and I'm like, I got somebody that we need. We, we need to get her. And she was like, yeah, she'd be a great, great asset to the team. Um, she, she came over and she was just another body that provided us a lot of numbers for sure. Can you talk about uh, also with AP, just like your guys' relationship? Because I know you guys also like coach together. Um, yes. Too, yes, we do. We coach in the summer together. Um, I... She came over, she actually played for my stepdad for um, a year and then we would go, she would come back in the summertime um, and we, we coached a travel team called Carolina Express. Um, she would come in the summer and we would play against our kids. So that's the cool thing about our program is me, Tatum and 
AP all played together uh, during the summertime um, and played against our kids to make them better because they're playing against college athletes, which is pretty cool. Um, but we we just had the chemistry together. We, we were good friends. Um, we always encouraged each other. There was no like arguing going on. We always made sure that we were all confident in whatever, whatever we came across. Alex, I'm going to ask a question to you because although you're on the men's basketball side, you also had quite involvement with the women's basketball program over the last uh, couple of years. And certainly while Mariah was on campus, as a coach, talk about what stood out to you while being around Mariah and, and kind of the characteristics that you were impressed by uh, when you were around her. Uh, for sure. So I think we kind of hit on it a little bit earlier. The first thing that stands out is motor. Um, I think as a college coach, um, one thing that I'm really big on when I'm trying to recruit kids is, you know, does this kid, you know, love to play basketball? And can you tell by how hard he goes on the court? And, uh, you know, we talked about Mariah playing 36 minutes a game her senior year. I think the one game I, I had to step in and be the head coach for a game, she played the entire game. Um, and I told her that beforehand, too. I'm like, Mo, you're not coming out tonight, so you might as well forget about that. Um, so I think it's just she always was positive. She always um, made the right decision. She always was there for her teammates, always encouraging her teammates. And, and you know, her, like you said, stepping up, her last two years, she had to do a lot of everything. Um, just from being around um, the men's and women's programs and sometimes having to help in practice when they were short, um, you know, she wasn't just just scoring. She was, you know, finding open teammates. She was rebounding the ball. She was, you know, causing havoc on defense, taking charges. I mean, if she that was, was my favorite part, just saying. Do what? That was my favorite part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> taking charges. It, she would attempt at least. Well, it's funny you mention that. Go ahead, Adam. Go ahead. Go ahead, Alex. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I mean, well, Mariah, you're talking about talking charges. I want to kind of transfer – uh, jumping into, you also played women's lacrosse here. I never knew you could take a charge in women's lacrosse, but I saw you take one, and it it shocked me. I remember I'm up in the press box, I'm like, you can do that? And of, of course, you'd be the one to draw it. So uh, let's talk about your days on on the turf as well, and, and what made you want to go into women's lacrosse? Um, well, I actually had um, my roommate, Adesia Bradshaw, she uh, played lacrosse, and I was going to play lacrosse, and I'm like, man, that sounds so cool. Like, I want to play. Uh, it was the first uh, year program. And she, coach was, like, asking people to play. And I was like, man, I really, like, want to try something different. And I asked coach. I asked my parents. And they were all fine with it. And so I joined the team. Um, and it was probably the best thing that I could have ever done. Um, I love lacrosse. I wish I would have played, start playing it before. Um, it's coach explained everything to me through basketball. So <laughs> that's how I learned to take a charge and how actually I learned the game is she would translate everything through basketball. So they're kind of similar. Um, definitely going to try to start some, hopefully some programs around here. Um, cause we don't have any, uh, I think the closest one is like Lake Norman, which is like 30 minutes away, but, um, it was, it was awesome. Um, charges in lacrosse are a little bit different, uh, <laughs> than in basketball, same concept though. Um, it's just a little bit quicker taking the charge. Um, I didn't take it like normal people. Um, cause I was so used to like standing there and actually like just falling, uh, but it was definitely the same concepts. Uh, and I just, I don't know. I just enjoyed being a part of something, I guess. And with basketball and lacrosse, they both gave me something to be a part of. And I think that was my favorite part. Talk about being involved. I mean, there's still brochures with your face on campus. There's Marcel magazines with your face still on campus. Talk about even just not that athletic involvement, but just being part of the university and being part of the community and, and the importance in doing so. Um, definitely Mars Hill is a place that you have to like find, you have to find that what you're interested in and what 
what is around. Um, I definitely wanted to be a part of like so many things. Um, at one point I was part of like BSA. I was um, a part of the lacrosse team, the basketball team. Uh, I was part of student government at one point. Um, I was a part of many groups on campus just to give me something that I could feel like I was a part of. And I, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, you got to go to Asheville. No, you don't. You can get part of something on campus and have yourself a good time. Um, I always made fun on, on campus, um, whether it was hanging out with teammates, um, we'd go and find like a game, go play, find a game like a uh, cards or whatever the case may be. And we made our own fun. I don't know if uh, Tatum will mention this in hers, but we had Nerf, Nerf gun wars and everything. So you definitely have to get yourself a part of something, especially um, being on campus and making you some friends and finding something that you enjoy doing. Not even just in sports, just in general. You know, we found during these alumni conversations that the one common theme uh, that a lot of the alumni speak on are people, the people of Mars Hill, be it the community or the university. Talk about some of those relationships that you have, Mariah, and those that have continued past Mars Hill and, and those that you created while you were on campus. I definitely have created some great relationships with people um, at Mars Hill. That's honestly one of the favorite, one of my favorite things about being in Mars Hill. Um, Miss Jackie and Stuart Jolly, um, they're like my second family. Um, I still communicate with them just about every other week, probably. Um, we still keep in contact uh, while I was at Mars Hill. They always, if I need anything, uh, I need to just come and talk, whatever the case may be. Um, I just drove over to the house and they would just like listen to me. Uh, they are some of my favorite people. And then let's see who else. There were so many. Um, Coach Fife, he's like a dad to me. Um, <laughs> so shout out to him. Uh, I still talk to him uh, and I'll, I'll call him up and we'll just talk. He's like real excited because my sister's wedding's coming up soon. So he's, he wants to come and party it up with us. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. There's so many people I can't even, I can't even think about it. Um, definitely a lot of my teammates. I still keep in touch with uh, a lot of teammates. Like I said earlier, um, Sydney, Paige, uh, Val, uh, Cece. There's so many of them that I still keep in touch with that uh, are like my sisters. So um, the people at Mars Hill are honestly great, great people. Um, that's one thing that I loved about Mars Hill is they just had some awesome people and I'm grateful for them every day. And you guys, you know, you guys are awesome too. Um, even though Alex makes fun of me all the time, but it's fine. <laughs> so we didn't pay you to say that. So let's just make that clear right there. Yeah, no, we did not. There was no uh, it, it's funny. Uh, I'm glad that you did bring up the Jollies though, because we talked at the very beginning, the last time we saw each other was in July and it was for uh, Stuart's father's 100th birthday. Uh, you came up for that to, you know, to celebrate that. So, um, I mean, the Jollies have certainly affected a, a lot of student athletes, especially the basketball teams. I drove up two hours to come, come and see them. And I traveled everywhere and didn't get back home until like <laughs> 12 or one o'clock in the morning, trying to visit everyone, get all my visits in at one time. So uh, obviously, again, it was great to see in July. It's great to see it today as we wrap up. Let's, uh, you know, let's kind of recap what we've talked about in terms of now you're a graduate. What is some of the best advice that you can give to prospective students and those that are still here at Mars Hill? Uh, my best advice would be um, to one, find, find a place, um, find a place that you would go to Mars Hill. Um, great, We're, we have a great president. Um, he is doing some great changes. Um, two is to find, Find your group of friends that is the right group of friends for you. Um, someone that you can trust and that you can do things with. Um, and third of all, go out and meet people. Um, there are some great people in the community as well that you can, they will help you in any way that they can. Um, whether it be just somewhere that you feel comfortable going when you're having a bad day 
or whatever the case may be, that would be my best advice for anyone that is going to Mars Hill that, you know, wants to know like what's so great about it. I had a great time and I would encourage anybody to go to the Hill because it's great. As you can tell, I'm wearing my, this is what I wore to school. I'm wearing my Mars Hill shirt. <laughs> Always have a home on the Hill. That is for sure. Uh, Mariah, thank you so much for taking the time and joining us. It's been great to catch up and obviously we can't wait to see you uh, when all this stuff clears up and, and see you back in the gym supporting the teams and just around campus again. I'll definitely be back. That's for sure. All right. Mariah, take care. Stay safe. Thank you.